BS Abdul Rahman University, earlier known as BS Abdul Rahman Crescent Engineering College. Good morning, all. I am Dr. P. Arthi from Max Department, BS Abdul Rahman Crescent University. So today, the topic I have chosen for the class, the session is matrix representation of graphs. So in detail, if I discuss about the graph representation from a matrix, uh, adjacency matrix will be much more beneficial when we talk about representation of graphs. Here I am choosing an adjacency matrix A. So first uh, I, I take a 3 by 3 matrix. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix with 3 rows and 3 columns. An adjacency matrix has a diagonal of zero elements and the rest of the elements can be ones or zeros. So here the number of vertex when I go for a representation of a graph I have three vertices 1, 2 and 3. Now I need the edges. How can I connect the graph with the edge? Each ones here represent there is an edge between the two vertices. If 1 is the vertex here and 2 I have 1, so I can connect 1 and 2. So there is a edge between 1 and 2. Similarly, 1 and 3 are connected. So I can connect 1 and 3. When I come to row 2, row 2 and row 1 is connected, row 2 and row 3 is connected. So already 2 and 1 is connected. Now I have to just connect 2 and 3. So when I come to 3, 3, 1 and 3, 2, already 3, 1 and 3, 2 are connected. Why is that case? It's because an adjacency matrix is always a symmetric graph. You, the lower and the upper triangle both will be having the same elements. So if I connect the upper graph, sorry, upper triangle, the lower triangle need not be connected. It's all the same. Here the graph is a undirected graph. You don't have a direction. 1 can come to 2, 2 can go to 1. It's either way you can follow. This is a general graph representation with 3 vertices and 3 edges. It, both the numbers need not be the same. So now we go for a representation of graph in nature. Suppose for example, I choose... Um, a cyclic graph with a vertex in the center. This doesn't have a name, so I'm just placing a vertex in the center and probably having vertices join to the center vertex. I'm joining each and every vertex here. So, cyclic graph with a center vertex. So, if I need to represent this kind of a graph in nature, I would really first question to my mother, how, where you see this kind of a structure in reality or in nature. She could blink for a while, but later it is the vegetable or she could find this kind of a structure in a fruit. Example, if you see a bisection of a lady's finger then you find this kind of a graph with a center edge these are all this is the seed in between you have seeds and you have the connectivity the bisection of a lady's finger similarly a bisection of a cucumber it has some kind of a structure a slight slightly structure so even in fruits we can identify this kind of a structure for example if i talk about I, when i bisect an orange i could see this kind of a representation uh, some layman he could even connect it he could say that even a cycle wheel has this kind of a structure any wheel example so everything you have a relation in nature even in engineering field if i could ask this question to a mechanical engineer he would come across saying about a finite element methodology where a room or a building in a 2d structure a building one side in a 2d picture you could represent the wall so wall could be represented this way 
where each and every intersection here it represents the vertex in between you have the edges those kinds of graphs can even be represented as intersection graphs anyway having multiple edges connectivity so you have this kind of a structure this is a graphical representation in finite element methodology of course in computer science you come across the graph representation where networks are involved where the information is passed from one end to the other end it's through signals they pass it through junction those junctions are all vertices the in between path is the edge so you have a real time example in computer science and a chemist can even say he has an application in graphs the recent research nowadays it's going on with uh, in chemistry for example if i say some structure of a chemical uh, this could even i'm not sure whether what is the name but this structure is involved they have adopted this as a graph theory and they are applying the concepts of algorithm heuristic algorithm in uh, simplifying the structures so it's called the chemical graph theory so the recent research even in graphs is chemical graph theory many many other applications in uh, research is like traffic management so how to manage a traffic so what is the possible types of path you could suggest to reach the destination from a source it's like a shortest path algorithm everywhere you have graphs so connect graphs with nature and try to prove yourself this is not purely mathematics this is an application part so we'll see what is the application part in the next class thank you